All right. Good morning. This yoga class today is a reclaim and balance and stress free, trying to release uh, your chi in your body to uh, rebalance it. So I'm going to lay down onto my mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my feet together at the top here. The knees are going to open up. I'm going to roll back onto my mat. I'm going to put my blocks right. If you don't have two blocks, use a pillow or some pillows on both sides. Open up your knees and let your legs, your thighs just relax onto those blocks or your pillow. Look up at the ceiling, turn the palms up to the ceiling. Find your back on the mat. Let the shoulders open up nice and wide. Feet are touching down at the bottom and just let everything go. I know you guys, I do it too. I'm kind of holding in my hip flexor. So let the hip flexor go. Let it go. Let it melt into the mat. Let your body melt into the mat. And if you want to close your eyes a minute, close your eyes. This is our starting pose. Take a nice breath in. And then release the breath. Another breath in. to the center and I want you to just roll to the right side and press yourself up into a seated position. Just kind of move your blocks to the side for a second. We'll come back to the blocks. So you're going to come to a seated position. Legs are crossed in front of you and you're just going to place your uh, palms together right in front. Maybe your thumbs are going to touch your heart center there. And you're just going to kind of sit up tall here. 
Close your eyes a moment. Draw the shoulders back a bit. Lengthen the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Now gently open up the eyes and you're just gonna kinda come forward with the hands. I'm gonna bring my yoga block towards the center and I'm gonna fold forward and I'm actually gonna turn my block up really high because I'm not stretched out that much. I'm gonna put my forehead onto that block. My elbows are bent and maybe my forearms are just relaxed onto the mat. If that block is not tall enough, you can take your second block and place it on top of that and then put the forehead onto the block, both blocks. Pause there a second. We're just gonna hold it here. Take a nice breath in. And then release. Second breath in. And then release. Third breath. And release. Fourth breath. And release. We'll do a fifth breath, draw in, and then release. Gently lift your head off the blocks, walk the hands back to seated, draw your fingertips towards the front of you again, palms in front. Just stay with me and kind of breathe into this, okay? I guarantee after an hour of this, you're gonna feel really good. I'm gonna put the blocks off to the side, release the hands, draw the fingertips down to the mat. I want you to come to all fours for a second there and then Press your feet into the mat. Draw yourself where you're just going to be in a forward fold. So your legs are long, you're standing, but your head is towards the mat. Forward fold. Use your blocks if you want to on either side and just kind of relax into that. Let the head go. Knees can be slightly bent if you want them to, or you can kind of straighten them out. Try either way, bending the knees a bit and straightening them. Release the shoulders, maybe your blocks turn all the way down to the flat side. Let the head go, breathe into that. Now, from this position, can you take your hands and draw them behind your back and clasp your fingertips together? And then reach those, roll the shoulders and kind of reach those hands away from you. Maybe they're kind of towards your bum and then you reach them away from you. See if you can stay in your forward fold in this position. You're rolling the shoulders, let the head go. Look in between those knees. Take a breath here. Exhale. Second breath in. Exhale. Breath number three. Exhale. And breath number four. And exhale.
Gently release the hands, bending the elbows, bring the hands back down to the blocks. Very nice. From here, I'm going to turn widthwise onto my mat where I'm going to be able to open up my feet as wide as they will go. Open up those legs, the feet as wide, this is wide-legged, stretch, opening up those feet, all right? You got to kind of think about turning the toes in and the heels turn out, all right? So I have my hands on my block. What I'm going to try to do is, again, like that forward fold, I'm going to turn my block up and then I'm gonna draw my forehead towards that block and just gently balance my head on the block there. Hold it there, draw the belly in, find your position and just try to stay there. We're gonna do four to five breaths in here. So inhaling and exhaling. Close the eyes. Try to get the long, long breath in there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently lift the head off of the block. And now bring your feet together. Walk the hands back to the feet to that forward fold again. Now I'm gonna bend my knees and I'm gonna place them down to the mat. Come up gently just to kneeling, okay? We're gonna do a rabbit, which we're going to use the block on the forehead, all right? So rabbit normally, the forehead is on the mat and you grab your heels behind you, but we're gonna do a rabbit and see if we can do that shoulder opening again, um, drawing our arms behind the back and clasping our fingertips. I just thought of a prop for those of you who have, uh, I struggle a little bit with rolling my hand, my shoulders back and grabbing. So what you could do with the other block is use it back behind you instead of if you can't get your fingertips together, okay? So here's our next pose. We're just gonna put the block right down in front of us and you're just gonna gently come forward, place the forehead onto the block your knees are bent, and now you're going to draw the arms behind you, clasp the fingertips, and then try to straighten the arms up to the ceiling. Take a nice breath in, and release. Breath two. And release. Breath number three. And release. Breath number four. And release.
Release the hands behind the back, draw them back down to the mat, and gently lift your head off the mat, sit back onto your heels a second. And just look forward for a minute, shoulders nice and long down to the sides. Come back to the mat with your hands on the mat. We're gonna do a thread the needle, okay? So I'm just gonna reach my right arm gently up to the ceiling, and now I'm gonna rotate that right arm underneath the belly as the shoulder comes down to the mat and the ear draws towards the mat. A nice gentle thread the needle. Maybe that left arm extends out long or you can extend it behind your bum. Whatever feels good to you. Think about rolling that right shoulder away from the right ear and breathe into this nice thread the needle. Ah, should feel really good. Beautiful thoracic twist. Some people like to walk those fingertips, the uh, right fingertips, even further away from the body to get a little bit more of a turn, a twist. I feel like the baby whale in my picture, just twisting on my side. And now I'm just gonna gently release, press into the mat with that left arm, come back out, shake it out a bit. Shake my booty, left and right. And now I'm gonna take that left arm, reach it up to the ceiling, opening up the shoulder, and now gently thread the needle. Left arm comes down to the mat, left ear comes down to the mat. Left ear tries to draw towards that mat. Maybe the right arm reaches long. Oh, this feels good. Take your breaths in here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the lengthening that's happening in the right arm. The left side is twisting. Inhale again. Exhale, sinking further into the mat on that left ear. Last inhale, and exhale. I'm gonna gently bend that right elbow Press back up to all fours. Shake out the booty a bit, back and forth. Shake it out. Mm -hmm. All right, let's come to a uh, mermaid position where we're gonna have the right knee bent where the right uh, heel is towards the pubic bone the left knee is bent, the left foot aligns to the back of your mat, okay? I'm just gonna, for kicks and grins, grab my yoga block over to the right side, all right? So you're going to sit up nice and tall where the arms are in a V. Let the shoulders drop down. Kind of breathe into this V, the palms face down. All right, you're in this mermaid pose. This is not easy to just sit like this, right? Mermaid pose. We're gonna gently take the right hand down to that block. Maybe you take the hand down to the mat. Your choice, okay? And now the left arm reaches over towards the right. 
Make sure that left hip tries to stay connected. Breathe into this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two. And exhale. Notice if you're getting longer. Inhale, three. And exhale. Let that neck go. Inhale, number four. And exhale. I keep getting a little longer, moving my block out. Last one, inhale, five. And exhale. I'm gonna draw my left arm back up to where I have this nice little T. Think about your arms, fingertips are pulling apart. Somebody's pulling your arms apart and you're just, belly's tucked in and you're sitting up here nice and gentle. Draw the arms behind you, lift those knees up and switch them to the other side. So the right leg is bent where the right heel aligns with that back of the mat. Your left knee is bent, the left heel is towards the pubic bone. I'm gonna take my block over to this left side. I have it up tall to begin with because my first stretch is, you know, a little tight. Arms out to the side, nice and long. Stretch over to the left side, left hand onto the block, reach that right arm over. Breathe in. And exhale. Breath in. And exhale. And third breath in. And exhale, you can treat it like a little bit like a wave. And inhale, four. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Draw yourself back up into that beautiful T, arms out. Just let those arms be nice and long out to the sides. Just hold it there. Don't have the shoulders drawing up. Just think about your back side of your body doing the work. The back side of the body, the, the little uh, angel wings back there are squeezing. All right, they're just holding the arms, belly draws in. Release the arms down to the mat. Put your hands behind you. And we're just going to extend the legs onto the mat out in front of you, all right? We're gonna do a boat pose. So from here, I'm gonna sit back a little bit, put my hands behind, the fingertips face towards the toes, bend the right knee, and then bend that left knee. You're going to just now take the hands underneath your knees, all right? This is just an easy balancing pose, everybody, but it's all about getting into it correctly. So you tilt back slightly, draw the right leg up, and then the left leg up. Knees and ankles are touching. Stay right here if this feels good to you. If you wanna release the hands, release the hands. If you want to extend the legs, extend the legs. Boat pose, breathing into it, finding the balance. Breathe into it. You can put your hands back to behind the knees. Stay balanced with me. One more breath. Exhale. 
bend the knees, place the right knee, right left foot down, and then the right foot down, and now sit up, and use the hands to sit up and draw the chest nice and tall, kind of through the knees a bit. Very nice. Now, we're gonna extend that right leg out in front of you, and I want you to take the left foot and put it on the inside of the right leg. So you have a nice bend of the left knee, right leg uh, is extended in front. The right foot is um, flexed, okay? So you're just gonna sit up tall. If this hurts, fold the mat over, sit on your block, whatever you need to do to prop yourself in this position, go right ahead. We're gonna draw those arms up to the ceiling, nice and tall. You're gonna reach out of those sits bones a bit. You're gonna reach out, draw the belly back, reaching up a little more, press that leg into the mat, the right leg, and now slowly with your heart, can you lean forward? Can you lean forward, start at the hip, lean forward, if the hands come down to the foot, the ankle, the shin, go right ahead. And we're doing a forward fold, breathing into it. I'm leading with my heart. Some people wanna drop all the way down. That's okay with the knee. With the nose to the knee, go right ahead. Breathe into this. Take a breath in and release flex that foot take a second breath in and release third breath in and release notice how deeper you can get you can fold a little more forward with those breaths. Gently come on up where you walk your hands, maybe on top of the leg or on either side of the leg. Very nice. Bend the right knee in and you're gonna straighten the left leg out. We're going to do that one-legged stretch on the left leg, the right foot is on the inside of the left thigh. Right knee is bent, left leg is nice and long on your mat. You want to think about trying to push the back side of the leg into the mat. Left foot is flexed. I'm going to draw with an inhale the arms up to the ceiling. Reach up to the ceiling. Breathe into it, reach up to the ceiling. See if you can reach up without the shoulders reaching. Really think about tucking that belly in, reaching up just a little bit higher, and now gently start to float forward at the hip, hinging at the hip, hinging. Foot is flexed, look at the toes, flex the foot. Really lengthen. And now if the hands touch the foot, the ankle, the shin, sometimes you, if you put your hands on top of the leg, it presses the leg into the mat a little bit more. Think about leading with the heart. Let's take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oh yeah, inhale. Exhale. As I'm exhaling, I'm getting closer to that leg with my nose. Last inhale. Flex that foot, everybody. Exhale.
pausing, gently walk the hands, maybe on top of that leg or on the side to come back up to where you're sitting up tall. You still have that right knee bent. I want you to take the right hand, go to the outside of the left leg, left hand behind you, twist slightly to your left. See if you can let that right knee open up a little more. Breathing into it. Very nice. And reverse. I'm just going to pick up that right knee, extend the right leg out, sit up tall, and now bend the left knee, bring it in, and take the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right hand goes behind the back. And it's just a beautiful little twist to the right. Looking to the right, breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Gently rotate the upper torso back to center. Draw that left knee back up. Extend the left leg out to meet the right leg. All right? From here, we're just going to um, do a nice little forward bend. All right, we did both legs separately. Now we're gonna do double, uh, you know, legs extended out in front. The feet are flexed. My arms are drawn down alongside of me. I'm going to raise them up to the ceiling. I'm gonna try to reach up as I press those legs down into the mat. Reaching up a little bit more. Breathe into it. And breath out. Reach up two. And release. All right, this third one, we're gonna reach up. And then we're gonna hinge forward. Hinge forward, flex those feet. Hinge forward as long as those arms can go. Hinge, hinge, press the legs into that mat. And then if the arms touch the feet, the ankles, the shins, wherever, find your forward fold, let the head go, let the shoulders go. Forward fold, we did it standing, now we're doing it seated. Breathe into that. Gentle and slow. Nice breath in. And breath out. Breath in. And breath out. I have to raise up a little bit when I inhale. My diaphragm expands and I'm exhaling, slowly coming closer to my knees. Inhale, last time. Pressing the legs into the mat. And exhale. Can you take your hands off of your feet if they were there and place them on the side on your mat? Fingertips nice and spread, your palms are on the mat if that's available to you. You're just kind of 
reaching, you're pressing those palms into the mat and you're reaching the heart forward, reaching the heart forward and sort of lengthening the spine. So you're not curled anymore. You're just looking a little bit above those toes and beyond. And you're using the mat to kind of lengthen that upper torso. Breathe into that. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And now gently take your hands and just walk them down the mat as your spine comes up to seated. Lots of stretching on those hamstrings. I'm gonna move myself a little more forward onto my mat as I have my yoga block close to me. My hands are being right out in front of me. The palms are gonna face each other. We're just gonna do a nice little easy Pilates roll down, okay? Stay with me, use your abdominals, all right? So it's an inhale, exhale, tilt the hips, tilt the hips, and now start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. If you wanna squeeze the legs together, go right ahead. I'm rolling down, I'm at my lower back. Now I'm towards the middle of the back at the bra line and now my shoulders and now my head and voila i'm down to the mat beautiful now you're going to take your yoga block bend the knees place the feet onto the mat lift the hips off of the mat and put your yoga block underneath lengthwise longwise like uh, across the booty, the butt, the lower tailbone, all right? It might take you a second or two to figure this out, where it feels good, I should say. All right, so from here, we're going to draw the right leg up to the ceiling, and then the left leg draws up to the ceiling, all right? So maybe you've got to inch yourself a little more on that block, and just let the legs hang up there, okay? Hands are face down onto the mat. The shoulders are nice and planted onto the mat. Your, your uh, scapula area is on the mat also, okay? No arching in the back, just leave the legs up there. Take an inhale. Exhale. Close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pausing right here, just hang out. Try to think about your legs being nothing. There's no, they're just dangling up there. You're not having to do anything. You're just letting them hang there. Gently breathe into it if you need to. Feels good, the gravity. Gently open up your eyes.
Bend the right knee and place that right foot down to the mat, nice and slow, everybody. Bend the left knee and bring that left leg down to the mat, nice and slow. Beautiful. We're just going to do uh, a nice, easy, uh, uh, I can't think of the name of it. It'll come to me. We're going to lift a bridge. We're going to do a bridge pose, okay? So your hips are still on the block. The hands are nice and long. You might want to roll the shoulders just a little bit under. And now can you lift up the hips off of the block and think about your knees going long away from you. Think about your knees going long away. That means you gotta press into the mat with your feet. Press into the mat with your feet. Lift up a little bit higher, squeeze the glutes. Lift up a little bit higher, squeeze the glutes, press the legs into the mat. Do you feel that in your knees? Press the feet into the mat, reach the hips up higher. Take a breath in. And release. Breath in two. And release. Breath in three, and release. Slowly come on down onto your yoga block with the hips. Let the shoulders release. Extend the right leg long onto the mat. Extend the left leg long onto the mat. Draw the feet together down at the bottom, the edges, not the bottom of the feet, but see if you can get your feet to touch. If you can't, that's okay. Gently roll the shoulders under a little bit. We're doing a fish pose. First, we'll start with the block flat and just kind of gently ease into this. Close your eyes. All right, we're gonna take it up a notch. Bend the right knee, bring the foot back to the mat. Bend the left knee, bring the foot back to the mat. Lift your hips off the block. Turn the block so it's lengthwise where you're going to turn the block up, the skinny side is going to be on the spine. So it's long on the spine. The skinny side of the block is turned up. So you've gone up a notch, all right? It's about five inches off the floor. You're going to take that right leg, extend out again, and then extend the left leg out. Notice the difference. Now your like pelvis area and your hips separating a bit, stretching the belly muscles, really opening up the whole lower part of your torso. Palms face down to the mat if you want to, or like I'm grabbing kind of my hip bones with my fingertips a little bit because it feels good to sort of spread them. Again, you can close your eyes and do your breath work, taking a deep breath in. Think about counting to 10 and exhaling, counting to 10. For those of you who want to go deeper, you can turn your block up to the tallest level of your block. You have to reach your hips up and then you go up really high and you extend those legs out. So you're in this beautiful fish pose. 
letting everything go. Let's do two breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Pausing in the fish, one more second here. And now bend the right knee, put the foot on the mat, bend the left knee, put the foot on the mat, reach the hips up, take the block out from underneath you and gently just put your tailbone down to the mat. Nice and easy, one vertebrae at a time. Very nice. Knees are bent. Pause there a minute. Let's extend the legs out onto the mat a second. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now bend the right knee, bend the left knee. We're going to do um, a half of a happy baby. So you're going to take that right knee into the chest. You can do a nice little stretch. Draw the hands in front of that knee and draw the right knee in. Take the right arm to the inside of that right leg down the midline. Grab the top of the foot with the palm. So the hand is twisted in. You're grabbing the top of the foot. The right knee bends towards the outside of the right armpit. Extend the left leg out if that is available to you. Lengthen the neck. Make sure your neck is not curved at all. You're lengthening the neck. Maybe you're flexing that left foot a little bit also. Right knee is bent. Maybe you're bending and straightening it a little bit. Whatever feels good in your happy baby. Taking some beautiful breaths in there also. Don't forget to breathe. Beautiful. And now gently release that right hand off the right foot and the right leg can go nice and long onto the mat. Pause a moment in the Shavasana here. We're gonna do the left side in a second. I'm gonna bend my right foot, just put it onto the mat, bend my right knee, I mean, and put it on the mat. Now I'm gonna bend the left knee into the chest, grab in front of it and go for that nice deep bend. I'm gonna take the left hand, draw it inside of that left leg to the midline. My palm, my hand is gonna grab the arch of my left foot. That left knee bends to the outside of that left armpit. And if it feels good to extend that right leg long, you can also keep it bent a little bit and open it up, the left, right knee to the outside. Whatever you prefer, try both. Flex that right foot if you want to. That feels good too. You can bend and straighten that left leg. It's hard to straighten it all the way, but you know, bend it where the heel comes towards the pubic bone a little bit and then you straighten it. Just gentle movements, not fast movements. Breathe into this. Bring 
bring that right foot back down to the mat and then release that left leg nice and long down to the mat. Release the left right leg down to the mat. So both legs are nice and long. You're in Shavasana, really stretching and breathing in Shavasana and letting everything go. Bend the knees and put the feet onto the mat. We're going to try a plow pose here. Okay, so plow is just where the hands go alongside of you, the palms down, and you reach the right leg up to the ceiling and then the left leg up to the ceiling. You need a little momentum. You're going to draw your legs over your head, right? in that pike position. So I'm just gonna do a plow pose. The feet either touch the floor or you stay balanced if you want to. You can use your hands behind your back to support yourself. The elbows are bent. Do not turn your head in this position at all. Breathe into the plow. Breathe into it. Stay in the plow if you can. Let everything go in those shoulders. Don't hold anything in the neck. Take your breaths in here. Two more breaths. Last one. I'm gonna gently roll back onto the mat, nice and slow and easy. Either leave your legs straight or you can bend them. Whatever feels good to you. And gently just draw the knees into the chest a little bit, rock side to side. Extend the right, uh, left leg out, extend the right leg out. Let everything go. Roll to your right side and come into a fetal position where your knees and elbows are bent. You're gonna press up into a seated position. So I've never heard this called this, but I was looking up uh, a pose. It's called the Thunderbolt. So we're on our knees and I'm gonna use my block underneath my butt, all right? I'm gonna try to draw my knees together a little bit so that the outside, of, so those of you who are more flexible in the knees, the legs, the heels are on the outside of your uh, hips, okay? Some people, this is so easy for them to do and it doesn't bother them, their knees at all. So you can stay here, or you can put a block underneath your butt and um, draw the knees together. Think about the heels being on the outside. From here, you're just kind of sitting up tall. We're gonna take our hands out in front of us. You're gonna take that right arm underneath, and we're just gonna do that nice, beautiful little arm twist, okay? So you just right arm underneath the left arm, and then twist around. You're trying to kind of have those palms connected in front. 
And then just let the shoulders draw down your back and just release here. Breathe into it. And release. Breathe in again. And release. Third set, take a breath in. And release. Gently unwind the right arm, left arm, open up the arms, rotate them in circles up and down. And now all we're gonna do is switch the arm twist. So instead of the uh, right arm going underneath, take the left arm and go underneath and twist around the opposite way. Take a breath in and release. Second set, breath in and release. Third set, breath in and release. Gently unwind the hands, come up onto those knees, unwind the knees, shake out the legs a little bit. Very nice. Last thing we're gonna do is lay down onto our mats in Shavasana, breathing nice and gentle. We're just gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit of uh, singing bowls. So lay down on your mat, for those of you who stayed with me, I'm not going to play the whole song. Play it for about a minute. Close your eyes.
gently wiggle the fingers and the toes. Draw the arms above the head nice and long. Flex the feet, maybe point the toes. And now gently roll to the right side, bend the elbows and the knees. Pause a moment in the fetal position. Press yourself up into a seated position. Legs crossed or on your knees, whatever feels good to you. Sitting up nice and tall. Place your hands in front to your heart center or in front of your knees. Namaste, thank you so much for joining me today in uh, my calming, chi centering yoga class. Thank you so much, namaste. I'm gonna turn my 